Hi, I'm Jesse Jane from Lily Shop. Lance Sandwich Crackers is celebrating their 100th birthday, and to honor the occasion, they've asked me to share some super fun birthday party ideas. So I'm gonna show you how to make my very favorite DIY party favor, glittery princess crowns. We all know that little girls love to dress up and have princess tea parties. My four-year-old daughter will do this every day if she could. And while you can always go out and buy all the decorations, it's so much more fun to hand make the items. This project is so easy to pull off, any mom can do it, and I'm gonna show you how. So to start the glitter princess crowns, you're gonna need a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I like to use the glitter paper because it's really pretty and all the little girls love it. So take your construction paper and lay it face down. Next, you need your template. To get this template, go to my website, lilyshop.com, and download it and print it out. Now that you have your template, you're going to trace it onto the glitter paper. So you want to put it diagonally on the paper so you get two crowns out of each sheet. Using your scissors, cut out both crowns. We're going to use a single hole punch and punch a hole on each side of the crown. This is where your ribbon's gonna to go to tie around your child's head. Now we're gonna embellish a little. Using crepe paper from the party store, you're gonna to wanna to fold the paper back and forth like a fan until your pile is about one inch thick. Lay your folded crepe paper on the table and fan it out into a circle. Using a little drop of hot glue, you're gonna to wanna to secure both ends together. Put a little bit of glue in the center of the crepe paper. This is how you get the pinwheel circle. Just hold it in place for about 30 seconds until it dries. Now, using a little bit more hot glue, put some in right in the center and stick it directly to the middle of your crown. Now that your pinwheel is in place, we want to embellish. This is just glitter paper that I cut into a star shape. You can also do an initial, or if it's a first birthday, you could do a one or a two. You could even put a little gemstone in the center. You can really get creative. To finish off the crown, you're going to want to tie a ribbon on both sides of the crown. And that's it. These are so simple and so beautiful, and you have to admit, these are way cuter than the crowns you can buy at the store. I promise you, this little princess tea party is going to be such a hit. And when you see your little girls twirling around in their dresses and showing off their crowns and snacking, just think of all the photos you can take and all the memories you're making. It's just more of what you love. For more great ideas and a chance to win $100,000 towards the best birthday party ever, go to happy100lance.com. Happy birthday, Lance.